Alrighty guys, there has actually been a pretty large amount of drama around the Star Guardian Akali skin, and I'm here to talk about it and provide a fix for what Riot has done, because for some reason, they kinda just killed the Chromas. <laughs> So basically, when Star Guardian Nikali first released onto the test servers, every different colored chroma had abilities that matched. So if you had the emerald chroma, your Q was green, your E was green, everything was green, and so on and so forth for all different colors. A week later, without saying anything, Riot decided to remove it from the PBE, and this caused every single social media to lose their minds. And I know what you're thinking, and I'm kind of with you on this, it's just a chroma with colors, what's the big deal? I thought about it more, and as someone who even is obviously obsessed with Nikali and obsessed with this new skin, it really does bother me too when I thought about it. I think the problem is people are already spending over $20 for this legendary skin. And for Riot to be like, okay, you're buying this $20 skin and you're buying a chroma? Nah, you don't deserve to have your abilities be a different color. It really is kind of gross and leaves a really bad taste in my mouth. And one thing I want to mention is that I know it's not the skin team that's killing the skin's chromas. It's definitely the higher ups, the same ones that fart on their employees, the same ones that harasses employees and farts on them and doesn't do anything anything to fix this damn game. So I'm not trying to send any form of hate towards the Riot skin department, just the people that make the decisions or rather don't make any decisions. So with that in mind, a bunch of very creative people over at Killer Skins created a custom made solution. That's right, you can still have the chromas be absolutely beautiful. If your favorite color is red, you can throw red daggers. If your favorite color is blue, you can throw a blue E out. And that's exactly what we're doing for today's video. We are fixing the Star Guardian Akali chromas because this is my favorite skin and I don't don't think it's fair to ask people to pay $30 or so for a skin for a chroma and still not make it the best it could possibly be. It's truly disgusting in my opinion and I'm sure the same people who made this decision are the same people who made the decision to not want to fix ranked, to not ban griefers, or any of that nonsense that has led League to be what it is today. So without further ado, let's get into the perfection versions of the Star Guardian Akali skin. Alrighty guys, we are going into the first game. We've got the yellow chroma for the Conqueror build. And then we're going to be going for a uh, electrocute. Oh, come on, dude. Ouch. Well, unfortunate. Lost all my health explaining what's going on. Not to worry, though. I am going to absolutely clap this, yo. But yeah, we are using the skins as they were originally intended before Riot decided that they hated their community. And I truly don't understand what is so illegal about these skins looking nicer that they had to literally remove them. But um, I guess paying for a chroma, just not enough, you know. Ooh. This is the angle. out buddy nice yeah the second he hit he took that turret shot it was doomed because that's at the point in which i can just run at him and win the 1v1 w take the wave and then recall with our yellow recall oh my god this must be removed this is too sexy it's too beautiful jokes aside i don't blame riot skin team at all i know it's just the higher ups at riot that are literally doing everything they can to milk the player base and it's unfortunate but at least we've got the power of custom skins oh i missed the q i was trying to q in the middle nice we are absolutely bullying this guy and i will say in the grand scheme of things it's not like the biggest deal in the world that this happened, but it still just shows like, I feel like it shows more about Riot's integrity than anything else. Yeah, thank you. He didn't even take it. Oh, he could have gotten an assist. You know, I respect the Warwick for that one. Looks like he's actually gonna push. Okay, guys, this might be a horrible idea, but it is a Rengar and a Vayne, so I truly need to teach them a lesson and I'll play them. And I tell you what, I got revealed by a Z and I didn't realize that was the thing. Okay, we just entered a, an entire free kill. Gonna fly back in. Look how dangerous that E is. It's too yellow. It's way too yellow. And by the way, Ryan's literally chat restricted everyone on the PBE. I don't know why. It's not just me. I didn't say anything toxic. Calm down. Um, don't need to cancel me. But yeah, it's very funny. Nice. Oh my gosh. All right, we can work with that. 
damn it. I don't think he has ult still. I mean, he probably does. I'm not sure. My ult's up, though, in like four seconds, so I think I can just kill him. Probably just RQ him. Alright, let's do it. I think he dies if I just RQ him. Yep, yep, yep. Warwick does have ult, so... Please, brother. Uh, Orwick forgot to press R. <laughs> he lost track of the R key. I was just kidding, he found it. Alright, beautiful. Hold on. Um. Um. Alright. Alrighty, we are going to be using W, E, U, flying back in with the golden wings, and um, we are now gliding. We are now the ice skating Akali. What happens if I Q? I, I'm actually, I'm, I don't know if I want to Q. This is so beautiful. Please, keep it. Oh, I killed it. Damn it. Alright. Well, you know what? We'll have to kill the Yon 2 then. Okay. Keep in mind, guys, we are on the PvE. This is the public test realm. Uh, I'm posting this video the day that Star Guardian Akali comes out to live, uh, but I wanted to get this video ready for you guys just because it's a pretty hot topic. Oh, shit. Run! <laughs> what is going on? Run! Um, I could have one shot. I should press E. Damn this Rengar! All right, all right. Get him, Borwick. He figured it out. This disgusting creature, vain top players, make me sick. I'm gonna start the BM right now. Hello. I wanted to make it fancy, but she started turning it to bite me. Oh, fame. Alright, check this strategy out, guys. I'm actually going to pretend to recall. I'm going to wait for the entirety of it to cast this beautiful new recall. And then the millisecond before... We're now in the brush. Bane's going to run in and have no idea I'm here. Dude, this is such a beautiful skid. Alright, just waiting for Vayne. Ah. <laughs> Something tells me it'll work again. Oh, shit. Oh, man. Oh. One. Drop the beat. Holy shit! <laughs> Run! Run! Vayne is one death away from being 0 and 10. Alright, there's a Vayne right there. You know what? I don't care. Okay. I pressed Sonya's! Don't care, Vayne dead, me happy. By the way guys, look how much damage this is causing to the world. These daggers should not be yellow. Disgusting. Thank you, Riot, for cleansing this poison from the world. Oh, God. I am actually evil for even using this disgusting, disgusting skin. But on a real note, though, this skin is still absolutely beautiful. I don't blame the skin department at all. I just want to say that again. I know it's those uh, cucks at Riot that fart on their employees and all that stuff. There is literally three different fights going on. There are three different team fights happening. Hold on. Use the ult now. There we go. Oh uh, shit. I'm probably gonna die to Rengar. No, I don't have to. Oh, hey, he's upgrading me. Come on. There we go. <laughs> nice. Alrighty. Time to one shot Seraphine. Oh, or just. There we go. Very beautiful. Very majestic. 
Help. Oh my god. He's trying to flash onto me. He's still in the brush. He's still in the brush. We're not letting him get to us. He's still in the brush, I think. I think yeah, he was literally in the brush. Oh my god. Eat my eat my Kama and Kunai. Because I'm playing a Kali. And they surrendered and the, the map's frozen. What is going on? Lose. Alright. Um. Uh, Onto the burst build. Alrighty guys, we are going into another game with this beautiful blue chroma now. This is my favorite color and I would say it has to be the most beautiful chroma of them all. So check this out. Got the cues, very blue, very illegal according to Riot. To be fair though, this is way too sexy. Alrighty, we are going against a Malzahar and I got electrocute. And because this is just a video on the PB for fun, I'm going to be giving you guys my favorite AP build, and that is going to be the Night Harvester. Should be able to potentially farm out some pentakills, and um, if that happens, that'd be obviously amazing. You know, the funny thing about Malzahar is people always hate this matchup, but I think it's super easy. I mean, you can just run at him and, like, throw random stuff. Wait for it, wait for it. All right. Oh, God. <laughs> he ran back, he ran back. If I can land an E right here, he could certainly die. Oh fuck, he's dead. Ooh, and that's a big wave. He does have TP, but I'm pretty sure he's gonna miss a ton. All right, let's get out of here before we die. It's a Rengar, so I think we'll be okay. So as I mentioned before, we are gonna be going for a Night Harvester. I'm not gonna go for his donuts this game, even though they have a Rengar. I wanna do the most fun full AP build for you guys, and the goal of this game is to get a Pentakill. All right, Malice is roaming. We're gonna, we're gonna go, we're gonna go. Oh, he's dead. He's gotta be dead. Oh, he's now trapped between us. My friend, you have messed up. You know what? Fuck it, let's keep going. Hello, nice to see you again. Goodbye. Let's keep going. Keep going. How many flashes do they have? Waiting for that. Keep going, run, run, run. Oh shit. We're fine, we're fine. Wait, we just got 200 off of the treasure hunter and assist? That's pretty much a kill, we trade one for one. Well played, well played, this guy's a genius. Hold on, Seraphine POV. Editor, cut that shit. No, I don't think I will. They never saw it coming. There was an all out war bot lane two seconds ago and now there's another one. Get her. <laughs> no. <gasps> what? No. Yes. <laughs> All right. So Warwick's on that. I'm going to see if I can stop them. If Miles isn't over there to suppress me, I think we'll be okay to fight. This probably isn't going to work. Also, it won't work if... This, the back of this thing is glitch. What the fuck? Okay, okay, okay. Honestly, I can bait for a while. Uh oh. Please get him, not me. Fuck! Get him! Run! 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 All right, I gotta wait. Gotta wait. Okay, fuck it. Holy crap! Get this thing. Let's go. Easy peasy, let's get out of here. We got the Night Harvester now, we got the Dark Seal, and uh, this game is about to turn into an actual nightmare for them. Go, go, go. I'm on my way. Seraphine ult hits two. Oh shit. Oh! Oh, we're fed, GG. Motherfucker, my kill. <laughs> Alrighty, with that, I think we are officially very, very far ahead. 69 CS on Caitlyn, though. We need to get up to that before it's GG. You know what? I'm taking this. I'm waiting for my freaking shroud, and I'm going to kill this everyone. They all die here. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on, buddy. Oh. <laughs> 
one. Yes. Thank you, God. Thank you. I don't know how or when, but I actually lost my entire turret. This should be good, though. Oh my God, Mike, you just one-shot him. I don't think that's going to hit. Wait, watch this. What? Ah, uh, they surrendered? Okay. Alright, GG well played. I guess they couldn't handle the Night Harvester tech. Guys, one last thing before the video ends. I recently posted a Star Guardian Akali movie that's on my new channel, Prof Akali. Be sure to check it out. The link will be in the description below. That channel is my new passion project for 2022, and I'd really appreciate it if you guys could go drop a sub and check out the videos as they help me pay for the best editors on this channel. Anyways, have a great day. Peace.